So Rich on Planet P, just gonna do a few little quick things and today we're gonna look quickly look at blood doping. So blood doping is part of the performance enhancing drugs and it's a paper two topic. It's a question that came up quite a lot on the 2018 uh, paper. So some of you might be a bit mocks for tip. So basically what blood doping is, is it's a system where somebody will take blood out of their body. So let's say we're gonna take a liter of blood out or a pint of blood out. That will get frozen. Now over time, your body will go, oh, better create some more blood. So more red blood cells will be created over time. Now, what the purpose of that is that you would have more red blood cells, so therefore your ability to carry oxygen will be increased. Kind of makes sense. So if you're a long distance um, swimmer, you're a long distance cyclist, you're a long distance runner, that would be really, really useful because essentially you'll be able to transport more oxygen around the blood. So that's gonna help. So what then happens is that you will you know, create this extra blood. Well, don't forget, you've frozen a pint or a litre of blood. So that's then gonna get injected back into you. You've now got more red blood cells. So all these new ones that have been created, all the ones that you froze earlier, so therefore your ability to carry oxygen is gonna be higher. So the advantage of that are things like you're gonna be able to run further for longer or go at a higher intensity for longer without fatigue. So really quickly, blood doping, in like 90 seconds, there you go. If you like these sort of videos, give us a shout. I can do these ones for fun with the phone instead of having to get all the, all singing, all dancing stuff out. Make sure you like and subscribe.